before we get into drifting, I just want to mention that we were a little frazzled because we got there at 5 when the gates opened and the racing was supposed to start at 6, but the line was so long that we didn't even make it into the pits till almost 6. So it was pretty hectic, it was a lot darker outside, it was harder to see than I thought. I was frazzled because it was a lot harder to do than I realized once we were hitting some higher speeds like 40, 50 miles an hour into the first corner. And I do have no e-brake in this video, so that made it pretty difficult starting. Um, but got the hang of it towards the video and had a lot of fun. But other than that, we went through less tires than we thought we would have. I didn't even change the tires. I went through probably, you know, 60% of one set of tires. Um, because you don't go like back to back to back. So that's a good thing and Other than that I'll just roll the footage and let you guys kind of see what our first experience was at the track Like I said, it was super hard to film. It was super dark There's not a lot of spaces that Trevor could go to film So I hope you guys enjoy it, but just know next time we go drifting We're gonna do what we can to make it a way more epic video, but I think it's still great. So enjoy it. Thanks It's nerve-wracking being out here, dude. It doesn't look like it, but like once you're out here, even as passenger, I like, I'm scared a little bit. People are dead serious out here. Oh, 
Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Before we go, I just got my new Super Tuner shirt and they're giving away a dope 240SX. All you gotta do is buy something on their website and you're entered to win. It slides, it blows flames, and it's freaking sweet. So check it out, Jordan's a good buddy of mine. And um, yeah, go check it out, Super Tuner, thanks.